me some power! Come on, Oh, yeah. Yes. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Show me some power! Oh. Yeah. All right. Yes. Come on. Yes. PR lifestyle is more than just hitting a PR on the squat bench or deadlift. It's about being the best version of yourself, always improving. Come on, somebody out there sitting working harder than you. Oh. You versus you. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are here at Team Zero Gravity in Claremont. Today, we have a special lineup. We got Daniel Baker and a 19-year-old from the UK that can bench potentially 550 pounds and maybe even turn pro this year. So, I really high hopes for you. I'm root for you. My best of uh, 19 was 565. So... You're pretty close, man. You're pretty close. You know, it's crazy what kids are able to do, right? So, we're going to be, what, doing a top single, triple, and AMRAP? What's the plan for today, guys? I mean, for me, the plan is to just bench until I can't bench anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, That's a good idea. Honestly, the incline um, looks like we, I mean, we might get some one-arm action, too. Really? Hey, it looks oh, good. Man. You know, 315, it's going to happen at some point, so... Mm. Maybe today. <laughs> I always start sweating when he says that. I remember the first time I spotted him doing that thing at Fitness Mania. It was just, yeah, I've never been more scared seeing anyone do any lifts before. So I'm kind of hoping we don't, but I'm here if you need it. I'll be fine. Yeah. British beef. <laughs> How about you, man? What are you doing today? I'm hoping like 635, maybe a post pec tear PR, something around there. I haven't gone over 605 yet, so maybe a 585 for three to four. Hmm. 585. Whoa, that's pretty good. My best is four. So if your best is four, that's my best as well. That means you're probably able to do, I'd say like 645 or 650. Yeah, yeah. Nice Trying points. to keep it still like RP9. Cause like okay. I'm still recovering. True, true. Don't want to go 100%, but might as well send it. So. Yes, 100% is good. 110 is happening today. I mean, you don't get a lineup like this and not push yourself. True, right? that's, yeah, that's the plan. I wish I can do flat bench with these gorillas, but Rotator Cup still recovering from all the incline barbell abuse. Lots of wear and tear with doing incline barbell, so we stopped doing it all together. So I will pass on this, but I will do flat dumbbells. It's funny you say that, you know, because I've, I've stopped incline barbell. For the same reason? Just wear and tear, yeah. I've yeah. noticed that all my injuries are coming from incline barbell, all of them. Every strain, every pull, it's always inclined. So, so we're gonna do one arm incline and bench after. I mean, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> that's different. You know? What about the clap press? I haven't seen the clap press. No, you know, I mean, we could clap a little older, man. We'll see. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, let's get started. Do you ever watch your old videos and see how fast you move the weight? All like, the you, I'll literally edit the video and be like, oh, I moved this at 0. 0.7 seconds. This one was at 0. 0.67. It's better. <laughs> it is, right? But it's marginal improvement that you can notice. You're going to hold this. Feel. You're going to break the floor, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Woo! Got the whole bench. Like, I'm feeling strong. Folding. I feel strong today. Woo! <laughs> I'm just going to bench the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Get a little feeling. Oh, this boy does feel nice. Are you making faces? <laughs> I'm gonna put this on so my, my gut doesn't show. It might make you stronger too. Right? No, I literally only wear the belt just so my stomach is nice and hidden. <laughs> I used to be like, but I've stopped caring now. <laughs> You're not free the nipple, I'm just like free the tummy. Dining up, it's good. Bigger shirt. Yeah, yeah that covers his tummy. I mean, fine. a bigger shirt is a bed sheet for me, so. <laughs> yeah, but I, I gotta wear them. Different. This is my PR shirt. It's my PR shirt and my PR. I've worn this for like four years straight. It's got holes in the side. I was just gonna say, it looks like you work four years straight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, all right. my heavy benches, all right? <laughs> How do you feel at 420 then? <laughs> oh, he's I'm creative. I mean, he's creative. He's, 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 he's light. Yeah. <laughs> Can't you tell about it? You're holding down the back for him. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 380. Lost weight. Not optionally. Look, I didn't want to lose weight. Um, when I went to Dubai for the muscle show, yeah. um, I just got sick over the trip. And then when I got home, I just couldn't re revive that appetite that I had. So I just cut weight. But it hasn't done me any harm. So. Why not? And actually at the moment, I'm kind of trying to follow a path of just slowly losing more, you know? So um, I'm kind of eating to maintenance, <coughs> maintaining protein, but then inviting like a little more cardio for the week. I'm actually dropping a little slowly. So. 
Well, <laughs> that's possible when you're on borderline TRT. Once you go on a full blast and you really take it serious, like when you're ready to fucking, okay, this is it. Everything or nothing, you're gonna blow it up. You're gonna blow it up. Maybe like 450. <laughs> yes. gonna be like, yeah, yeah. Can we just convince him to vault to 500? That's what we gotta do. That would be kind of fun. It's yeah. scary. What, 500? <laughs> yeah! Benching with the big show. The big show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your arm position, I'm always on bench. I was, you're always like so far in front of your shoulders, it just throws me off so much. I well, feel like you're just so tricep dominant. You're just like here. That's an effort to protect my pecs, you know, yeah. lower I get yeah. on my chest, less yeah. Yeah. Off stresses yeah. on my rotator cuff, yeah. on my pec. Yeah, swap. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you know more about it than me, but so lately when I'm benching, I bench one, one finger width in for all my warm-up sets. Okay. When I hit, yeah, so I'm actually benching slightly closer than normal for all my warm-ups, and then when I get to like 80 to 90 percent range, I go back to the finger out. That sounds like the worst thing you could do. It's working. Really? <laughs> that sounds like it would lead to an injury right away to me, no, for me at least. I mean, it's just a finger difference. Yeah, I guess, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it makes sense. You probably, you probably get more of a stretch, narrower. Yeah. You widen up yeah. a little bit and you get less of a stretch. Yeah. I don't know, it's just working for you me. You need a spot, you need a lift off. Nice. Someone get, get him here. This is... <laughs> I'm just messing with him. <laughs> He's actually, I think Matt's focused at the minute. He's not usually this quiet, so. Yeah. <laughs> he's nervous. He's, he's in go mode. Yeah, he's, he's, he's just saying he's nervous as he wanted to Nah, he's not. He's good. I have to, I have to hold. Just how it's a bit rolling when you're coming up. Yeah. That's why I like, my hand, I was just like whipping out the floor. Come on. Easy. Fast. Beautiful. Yeah, well, I got the new ones. These ones. Thank you. So you can either grab it with your hand like this right here, or you can wrap this around your thumb. But I like to grab it here. Go behind your hand, wrap it tight, come down underneath the palm, and then around the wrist. What's gonna happen is if you look, see how white my hand is? Mm -hmm. I can't go back, and there's still no contact on the bar of the wrap here. Okay. So you're not gonna like lose okay. the bar. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's how you want it to look. In the words of Roy Coleman, still warming up. <laughs> Lightweight. All right. Yep. Come on. Yep. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Yep. All right. Beautiful. Are you sure these don't weigh 20 pounds each? <laughs> Come on! It's a warm up. Alright. Swap these corn. Three, two, one. Yep. Easy. Oh, yeah. Woo! Good luck. Well done. I like to get, I like to just, I mean, if I'm just doing singles on the way up, you know, if you think about the total reps before I get to a top set, it's not a lot. It's gonna end up being like so. 10 singles. Just 10 singles of, of lightweight baby, what's wrong with you? <laughs> that's, that's, that's five more singles than I want to do. No, I mean, we, I'm just thinking a half now, I haven't done any more. Oh. Unless, I mean, if, if you want to take your tempo now, I'll put it I'm out of breath just re reaching for these wrist wraps, man. How are we at 3.30? What? Yeah. How are you at 3.30? I felt good. I felt great. <laughs> he always says that. <laughs> but I was, I was snoring like while I was awake. I don't know if you ever got to that point where you're like sitting there watching TV, and you'll like realize you're like not breathing. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been there? Oh yeah. Or, 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 look, I'm 5'10". I've been up over 305. Really? Yeah. Have you ever held a point like 
like it's the weirdest. It feels like you have almost like a rope wrapped around your neck, like all like all the time. Yeah, I felt like I was. I, had, yeah. I slept in the bench press position. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll throw like two big body pillows under each arm and you lay there like that. It's like you're wearing a, a slingshot, <laughs> but you're not. Incredible. I'm gonna slow this one down just a little bit. Okay. All right. One, two, three. There. There it is. Yeah. Well, if you want to go straight to 455, well, let's go on, you can go I'll right do up. this. Yeah. After him. So I'm, I'll, I'll do K. Well, I need a rest. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Wait, <too. laughs> you guys are out of breath. Yeah. You guys are making me feel healthy. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, you're 380 now. You're light. You guys are making me feel like an athlete. I mean. <laughs> uh, on here. Well. Come on. One. Yep. Oh yeah. There you go. The, co the company that made this bar, Achievement Apex, um, this sent an Erling line here. They put it there for me for one arm. <laughs> so they, this exact bar is the one I've got at home. Um, and he added that line there so that I could actually line my fingers off when I was doing one arm press. So, yeah. He was encouraging kids around the world. <laughs> no, but don't, do it. Means. <laughs> don't do it. Without the lines, you have to do it. <laughs> it was you get a perfect grip every time. <laughs> I mean, no, seriously, it's good for it though. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it is. Because I used to kind of be like, oh, look, where am I going? Now I just put my middle finger around that and I'm like, perfect. <laughs> now I should try it again. <laughs> what was that last time, 225? 225. I mean, you had it, it's just dropped when you were. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm more nervous than that. <laughs> I've been in the gym for 30 plus years of nothing. <laughs> That's made me more nervous than watching Baker do single arm. I think I should attempt it, but surely so if the pack tears, you can see it happen. <laughs> oh, don't <laughs> say that. This is horrible. This is horrible. Come on. Come on. Yep. Here we go. Oh, yeah. It's a warm up. Oh, yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Oh, yeah. oh, oh, Smoking. 19 years old. <laughs> when did you start boxing, man? Uh, about two years ago. No, not very long. So, I used to be a boxer before, and then I stopped when I was about 17. Wait, so you can bench 550 and box? <laughs> That's why you're so good at benching. <laughs> I don't know how to box. Alright, yeah, you and me both. Oh, you put six on for me for a second. I was like, this will be 495, right? Yeah. He's aiming for 550, so he needs to add 55 pounds. I'd hit this. Now it's 550. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Unless, unless you don't feel warm, I'd go 475, 525, 550. If you don't feel warm right now, 530. Nah, you're good. I'm if from, you feel good, I'd go 500, 550. I'm from 485 to 530. That was convincing what that was. That was good. So yeah. you're good. Yeah. Okay. What's the biggest jump you've done previously for PR? I did 485 to 530. So you did a, so you did a, a 45 pound jump. Yeah, so that's fine. That's so this will be, be a 55 pound yeah. jump. You've okay. been making bigger jumps anyway. Yeah. Because it's, it's not kilos. Okay, sure. Yeah. Sure. Usually with tricep tears, it'll tear from the elbow up here and it'll pull the bone with it. Yeah. He said, I showed him these wraps and my tear was right here. And it tore from the muscle down and it stopped right here. Yeah, see, I'm serious. He said that these wraps literally held the tendon to my bone. And then that's that's the tear happened up here instead. Came it, so. wow. it literally saved my tricep. Yeah. It was the coolest thing ever. Yeah, it would have been terrible. I would have had like a cast and everything because it would have been a, bo a broken bone too. And it's a lot harder to heal that because it's like they drill it back in and it's like never the same. With this, they just put a mesh in. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't know it was that serious. Yeah, it was crazy. Who would have thought? Yeah, the I mean, doctor The doctor was like, how did this ever happen? He was like, that's a freak injury. Like, I've never seen a tricep tear like that. And I showed him the video and I showed him the wraps, and he was like, wow. It's cool. It's like, it's, it's actually mind blowing to me. <laughs> oh. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I've been recently. My biggest downfall has been like tendonitis in my elbow, my left elbow. Oh, left over. It's because I've been doing a lot more raw work, you know, oh, and yeah. sleeve work. Um, whereas you know, my body's so used to wraps, I suppose that now I've switched it up a bit. My elbows are just crying. But at the minute, I mean, you know, you might have to edit this bit out. But EPC that I've been running. <laughs> oh, these elbows are brand new. 
<laughs> yeah. Give me an extra long wrap for people like bigger size. So I was saying, so I'm probably going to go to another pair of wraps that I've got in my bag when I go to talk my top set. The thing with the elbow wraps is they're, they're good, but they're just short for me. My arms are so big. You get, get what, one revolution out of it? Make two, two good revolutions. Yeah, I mean, look at how much but, he's stretching these out. Stretch them out you know? <laughs> it's turning white on this. Yeah. So. I don't stretch it out. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> you want wrist wraps? Oh yeah, okay, okay. Cool. I'd love to try on your power thing that would do like a hula hoop with it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> you see my bag, I'm gonna put it on and do it. Come on! See. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> we got scared that mine away. Oh, we got salt. Oh, these are the juicy ones. I got my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I've got goosebumps on my calves <laughs> from the speed up. Come on. Oh. All right, smoke show. Ugh. Here we go. Come on. Hit. All right. Come on. Yep. Oh yeah. That was good. Smile, we want to see. We want to see. How do you feel? Like nothing? Yeah. Yeah. Man, history. Yeah. I got I mean, honestly, the C700 is in play today. Oh, what? Don't yeah. tease us like that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's there based on how 500 moved. So Do that? 700. 700 today. Maybe. Let's see. I want to see how. Full body for full me, body. it'll probably be based on how 640 moves around there. Because I'd probably jump from 640, 675, 7. Oh, I'm bricked. I'm bricked enough. <laughs> <laughs> 100 pounds, <laughs> Listen, there's only a handful of times down. in, <laughs> you know, <laughs> in history that anyone's ever based on 700 pounds. Whether it's in training or competition, yeah. it's very rare and I've only seen it I think maybe twice in my entire life in person with Julius yeah. and the other time maybe only once actually one time well <laughs> I've never witnessed a 700 in person have you seen 600 I've seen 600 yeah. never seen 700 that'll be a first man. don't let me down <laughs> <laughs> you got the whole family watching I'm gonna be honest <laughs> the plan was uh, maybe 715 actually. So Whoa! I wanted, I wanted to PR out here and I feel good, so let's see. But your PR is 700, right? Don't PR at the moment is 700. It's funny because I, I tried 705, yeah. um, took it down, and when you, if you watch it back, I, I misgrooved it, took it up, got it to about here, just couldn't lock it out. I took a six minute rest, put 700 on, pressed it like it was RP6, 7. It was like what? Like how? What? Five? You know, five pound difference was that big? Um, it was just a misgroove. I think on that day, probably had seven fifteen in me then, um, with the way with the way seven hundred moved because seven hundred moved convincingly, like really convincingly. So wow. Yeah, and I, I haven't I haven't sent like a top top single since the seven hundred, and that's been about when's that? A couple of months. Yeah, I've kind of been riding at the minute and just trying to stay healthy, hit some sets, hit some volume, so... And I'm going to be honest, I feel primed. I feel kind of... Yeah. Ready? Let's just send it, bro. Hell yeah, all right. Let's just send it. You to my ears. All right. <clears throat> Come on. Easy. One, two, three. Yeah! Here we go. Easy. Come on. Small this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Empty bar. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Literally totally nothing. That's fantastic. Yeah, me neither. Where did those come from? Okay, look. Focus. You want to be off reach? Come uh, on. Ugh. Come on. All right. Yep. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Ugh. Yep. Come on. Focus. Here we go. We'll smoke this now. Come on. Yep. Come on. Oh, yeah. Make it look easy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well 
both of them. Are I think maybe five, maybe five is in the right now. Could be, man. It could be. Oh, bro, with this energy. Yeah. It might as well try it. Absolutely. Oh. Might as well. Uh, immediately I threw it. I was like, this is definitely the place you can do it. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Yep. Make up. Peace, peace. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh. Oh. So light, baby. So light. Oh, well. Yep. Three, three, four, two, one. Yep. Yep. Oh my God. <laughs> I smell 715. <laughs> I smell. It literally looks like he's gonna throw it over. Yeah, the top. Right. yeah. It makes me nervous. He's does. throwing it so quick. It up, does, it's just yeah. like it looks like he's gonna go through the rack. Right. I mean, one day you're gonna be clapped at you with five people. <laughs> 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 with the velocity you get on that bench, you're gonna be no, no. The internet remains undefeated because the amount of people that are like, the amount of people that like, I guess, and I'm sure you've had it your whole career, but like, I hear so many stories about myself that I didn't even know were true. Mm. You know? <laughs> People are like, didn't you know Baker clap reps 495? And I'm like, damn, who's Baker? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to meet that guy, because it's not me. Yes. You just gotta run with it. 585. Yeah, boys, you've got 20 pounds and you still. I'd say 570, 565, 570. Yeah. 570. I would send 570 just so you could say you beat him by five pounds. 100%. Send it. You're such a dick, Daniel. <laughs> okay, and then if he misses it, Larry could say, well, I still got you beat. Let's yeah. Go. Goes both ways. I want you to edge it. I want you to edge. <laughs> 570. <laughs> 570. Yeah. Boom. Oh, Official. Yes, sir. We have to go soon. Oh, you going now? Yeah, oh, I'm still warm. My bad, my bad. Come on. Smoke this. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Easy. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah! Oh, yes. Yeah! You got it. Oh. Nice, nice, nice. Easy, cool. Easy, cool. Easy, cool. I heard some cracking. Is that his peck or the raps? No, no, <laughs> I think it was the raps. Yeah. Oh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Check your peck. It's so man. quiet. I can hear every little thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's these. I've been using and abusing these raps, man. They look way better than the green ones that you had for five years. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the two and a half? Yeah. Exactly. That'd be 570. So I did 565. <laughs> that was my best in 19. So he's going to try to beat your 17, your 19 all record? Yeah. And here's a cool thing. He's still got nine months left as a teenager. He could do 600 at night at a teenager. Imagine that. Fucking wild. Yeah. Super impressive. Damn light. Still got nine more months. Nine months? Nine yeah, more my, months, man. My best at 18 is 520. Ooh. So put on a lot of weight in fucking one year. Alright. This is August? This, this is in August? August? Yeah. Okay. Right. Hell yeah. Hey, did you get that with me, you? Huh? Did you get that with yeah, me? Yeah, with you. But, I mean. What a training partner. <laughs> you got Baker as your training partner, that's pretty badass. That's fucking cool. Here we go. Focus here. The strongest team ever. Here we go. Come on! Come on! Come on now, man. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. Come on! Show me, man, now. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Yes. Come on, bro. Show me some power! Come on, man. Oh, yeah. Yes. Come on! Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Yes! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's go! Oh, yes! Man. Dude! Whew. What a grinder! Just the right amount of weight. Oh. No doubt! No doubt! Whew. Hell yeah! Oh, oh, oh man! Hey. Oh. <laughs> yeah! Five seventy at nineteen. Yeah, he touched an inch too high than normal. I was so nervous. He like touched higher than he was on every other set. Whew. Oh, it was his day. Oh, his day. He's jacked. He's jacked. Nice. Don't throw. See, you're doing all the handoffs. Yes, sir. 
It's a workout in itself. <laughs> Wait, you probably lifted off the rack already? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> I don't feel real. Yeah. <laughs> okay. hey, I'm well, I was, you know, when I was warming up, I was like, come on, I just gotta stay focused. But now I've hit it, I'm like, oh, this, this don't feel real. <laughs> just man, just let, let it be known that the Ooh. UK is not here to play. Just remember that. I see. We're yeah. sending out hitters now. <laughs> hitters only. That's it. Yeah. Guys, take it over. Let's go, man. Come on. This one's next. Yes. Come on. Yes. Smoke it's a warm up. Smoke show. Smoke show. Yes. <laughs> Man down. Man. This bench has officially moved back about a foot since yeah, well, it started. Listen, it started right there. You can see the end there. <laughs> now, now I don't even squeeze in between the benches. You might get dead there. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, credit where credit's due. I have to pay you dues. Like, he's the best bench on the planet, um, undoubtedly. And he's my biggest inspiration when it comes to bench. So, he's the man to beat, you know. Um, I have like a huge respect for him, but also a huge um, desire to beat him. Do you know what I mean? Of course. Um, motivation, inspiration. It's, it's tied into one, so a massive respect for him. And, I, and I, you know what? I want him to get 800 just so I can do 810. <laughs> I'm not joking, seriously, that's how I feel. Um, because I want 800, because I want him to, to hit that in his career, do you know what I mean? And, and be the first guy to do that. And I want to be the first one to break it. That's the plan. That's humble. That's hard. And when I say I want to be, I know I will be. It's just a matter of time. <sighs> Obviously, it's up to you, but I, I think you've got 635. Send 635. You peer pressured me. So much for the voice of reason. <laughs> <laughs> so much for that. He's over here thinking he doesn't want to take plates and put more plates on. <laughs> I, I mean, it doesn't affect me, honestly, genuinely. If you want to be 610, I'm with you either way. But I just think, I thought you were crafted from a different material like me, you know what I mean? So. <laughs> Yeah, I technically am. I've got a half bionic body right now. <laughs> Come on, bro. I believe in you, man. I believe in you, Dan. You might weigh more than 25. Okay. I don't trust those metal ones. They're humbling at the Pat Francis place. <laughs> but, you know, I have people stop down to come on the channel and I'm always the voice of reason, actually. Hey, guys, yeah. I recommend you don't do it because you could get hurt. You may be not 100%. But. Other than the one time, <laughs> when you did one arm, other than that one time. But yeah, I was just saying to Matt, because Matt's saying to me like, he said, I feel a small, like kind of pull, maybe a niggle in his chest. Um, and he's thinking he wants to do a 405 arm wrap. And I said, listen, if you ask Larry Larry's gonna say, don't, don't do it, play it safe. Yeah. But I said, um, I'll just do everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Look, some you gotta do the voice of reason. At the same time, you've just it's done five. Lighter than five you've just, yeah, but you've just done, you, you're CNS. You've just got 570 at 19, mm -hmm. bro. Yeah. So CNS wise, you're going to be pretty fried. I mean, you're on a high at the minute. Yeah. You'll start to, do you know what I mean, quite quickly now. So if you're going to hit 405, yeah, sure. Maybe. If it, if it starts. What's off. your best on 405? What's your best on four plates in the UK? I think it's like 12. But I, I haven't, I haven't, I, the last time I wrapped it, I was 18. Wait, so, so hold on. You said you felt a little twinge in your pack? After the 570. Yeah, Just, so you're gonna have to fight me if you're doing four or five more hammer yeah. today. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to fight me for you. We can't do that. See, when your body says, oh, you know, what's that over there? So your body's trying to give you a warning. Hey, take it easy. Come back another day. Mm -hmm. You know? We did the 570 before you did it. If there was something like that going on, like. No, I, I was, you know. everything, the warm ups felt mint and it was just. This is wild, don't After, uh, <laughs> <laughs> after, after, just after the fight, just a little, just a little pull in my left, my left pick. You know, and look, you come back next week, you do four or five or maybe 20 reps, you know? So <laughs> maybe. you're gonna you're gonna come back fully healed and have many more PRs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, my biggest mistake when I was 19 and early 20s is rushing. Yeah. You know, I wanted results yesterday. So even if I need to 100% all the time, I still would push myself regardless, you know? And it's great until something goes wrong, you know? Mm -hmm. So just to prevent that, yeah, you're ending on a great note, bro. 570, yeah. come on. That's a 30 pound, 40 pound PR? It's huge, yeah. 40 pound PR. It's a massive, bro, massive PR. And since this happened already, we don't care how many times you can get 405, to be honest. Okay. Another yeah, time, I mean, the thing is, another time, you yeah. move two people, three people that have yeah. been hit 405 for 25 plus. Yeah. So, 
So you're a loser. Not a loser. Yeah. <laughs> like your four and five for twelve is pathetic. It's nothing. <laughs> you're a loser. <laughs> Chuck. I mean, I did hit four plates yeah. for thirty-two before we came out. So, yeah, but he so, hit more than all of those at nineteen. Yeah, right. <laughs> when I was nineteen, I was playing Modern Warfare. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, still nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> In Russia, yeah. <laughs> Check my birth certificate. I'll bring it tomorrow. <laughs> Let me see that birth certificate. <laughs> I love how we're all benching over, well, myself excluded, over 500 pounds and none of us are breaking a sweat. Like there's not a single drop of sweat I've seen from any of us yet. <laughs> You've got a bit going on in the back here. Back sweat. <laughs> I was sweating face. before I even got here. <laughs> Come on, bro. Here we go. Come on! Come on. Yep! Come on, bro. This is it! Come on. Come on, bro. Come on. This is it! Come on! Yes. Oh, yes. Man. Yes. Big push. Yes. Oh, Good. Oh, Get it. Fuck yeah. me. Yep. Misproved that. Yep. Yeah. Ah. Felt it easy. I had it. I just started drifting this way. Yeah. Going, man. Oh. I think you definitely had it. it. Yeah, I think I had it 100%. That felt light. It was strong off the chest. It felt light. It, felt, yeah. it didn't feel heavy. It's fantastic. It's I don't get that. It always feels heavy to me. Just <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, always I mean, it didn't heavy. feel like I had weight in my hands. If that makes sense. I mean, anything over 500, I'm like, oh, good God. I've been having <laughs> issues misgrooming a lot, though, ever since the surgery. It's weird. Everything, anything over 500, I'm like, oh, well, it shouldn't be on my chest, but okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, I think like you forget that, like, as, as like, I guess, you know, just nature-wise, as, as human beings, I don't think you're meant to have, like, Five, six hundred, seven hundred pounds yeah. over your chest. Come down and push it up. I don't think we were meant to do that. What about the BBW lovers? Because I push hard. <laughs> I mean, true. I push too hard. True. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Damn right. <laughs> I mean, but a six hundred pound BBW. Good lord. Yeah. Bigger the better. Of course, to stay alive. Survival of the fit. I'm really strong. Sorry, right for me. Come on. Come on, let's see it. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Tell me the power maker. Come on. Three. Yes. Oh yes. Right. So warm up. Oh, yeah. Nah, let me squeeze that a little. I me squeeze it a little, but my also brain's too well for the leg drive, but I'm okay. That was fine. Yeah, look, uh, look, something a bit off about that. Yeah, I was like, I just misgrieved a little. I think the whip hit you a lot. Whip hit me then? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I'm still going. I feel good. I'm going up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you and me both. So, I thought I had big arms with 20 inches, you know, whatever. 25 inches. I've got, yeah, that's 25. Unrealized. 25. Yeah. yeah. Those my, arms bent seven My forearms, my forearms are 20. I've got 20 that's forearms insane. and then That's 25. like LeVon forearms. Yeah. Yeah, so. When you when he says the wraps are too short, it's because he's trying to. No, yeah, it's, it's not a, a wrap fault. It's a <laughs> yeah. human biology fault. Is the issue? You need a knee wrap on your fucking arm, dude. But like twenty-five inch legs are like decent sized legs. Yeah. yeah. So that's the issue. I mean, that's literally the issue I have. But it's, uh, it's as I start to get high because I have to crank the wrap so much, circulation and the you know. What, what so. are you up? Twenty ones? Eh, just shy of twenty-one, like twenty and three quarters. But see, it's crazy though because I know mine are twenty-five. They don't look twenty-five, but his look like. Days. You know? um, when there's a peak like that, that looks so big. Yeah. It's not an illusion. And how big, how big are so, yours? So, I haven't measured my, I thought it was about 19, but he thinks they're closer to 20. But it looks like 14, maybe 15. <laughs> oh, my expertise, geez. that's what I'm saying. I remember when I was 16, I just wanted arms as big as my age until I was 20 right. years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was like 20 at 20, or well, 20 before 20. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can only flex my bicep from this side because I got the ex wife on. This is a coincidence that when you do that, do that again. Like, the mouth looks like a butthole. <laughs> is that a coincidence? Four the grows as you tense. It's not going away, it's going back on too long. All right, I, I thought you I was doing it wrong, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I mean, I'm a bit thick now, but yeah, I mean, holy shit, this is nuts. <laughs> Just 380. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 So tired. Don't say that. 
Not sleepy. Not before it be lit. Nah, I'll be sleepy before it. I'll still do it. <laughs> yeah. Come on, go down. Yeah. Just one. There we go. Come on. Yes. Let's see. Two, three. Yes. 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 Oh yeah. Easy. Wow. Yes. Oh yeah. That's it. Felt easy. Oh yeah. Felt like those were decent ones. Oh yeah. What? Absolutely. Owned it. Owned it. Come on. Come on, man. Let's see, you, Baker. Come on. Yes. Come on. Let's go. Make it look easy. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Time, Baker. Whoa. It's time, Baker. Yes. All right. Come on. Speed. Come on. Oh, yeah. My leg. Yeah, I saw that. Lose my leg. Yeah. yeah. I lost my leg, but you know what? That whip was strong. The whip's strong. I got it though, right? Yeah. You did, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I really wanted this seven, bro. I just don't think I can. Not with the whip. Whip. Yeah. Which is weird because I've done on this exact bar. I've done uh, six sixty-one, three hundred kilo. Okay. In sleeves, paused. And oh, yeah, maybe the pause is what takes the when they take the whip yeah. out, you know. It's I think pause is gonna make your whip worse, probably. Because you'll build up so much explosiveness, like when you get halfway up, it's just gonna all hit you. Well, I, I'm not just that, but Larry said before, I've, I've touched and go for the last six sets, so I'm not gonna switch the pause now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Uh, I mean, I don't know, a 715 pause sounds kind of <laughs> <laughs> good. Nah, I yeah. think if we had calibrated, maybe. You know, yeah. Yeah. Um, but we're stretched. I mean, what we're at now, six seventy-five. Yeah. So to go seven fifteen, we're literally ed edging the bar. We're edging the bar completely. I mean, we could go seven fifteen, and we could just hold the bar to stop the whip. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we use your elbow wraps to wrap the bar? <laughs> <laughs> Those suckers will get rid of the whip. I mean, <laughs> so work on moving. Maybe you just. You want to drop for some reps? No, I want a one arm 315. Okay, yeah, let's go, let's go in on that. Yeah, we go. I know, right? Oh, I'm just trying to think really of <laughs> Can I do both? We know you can do both. Yeah. Where did the wood get you? Half of the Not half of Because as it, as it kicks, that's when, that's where like, the leg drive kicks in hard. That's yeah. why I lost my foot on that side. I think that's what happened to me on 635 too. I think the whip hit me halfway up and I just lost it backwards. Yeah. Cause my leg drive was like- My leg drive went and I, was, I don't know if you saw, but I started to tilt off the bench. That's why yeah. I went. Yeah. Well, when you re-racked yeah. it, this side was on the rack. Like this yeah, it's cause my, my, right, my yeah, right leg just went out. I lost my leg drive. But I got it. I just- Swap bar. Probably what we should have benched on, honestly. Boy, uh, sticker as well. Yeah, there's zero whipping as well. Yeah, there's going to be no whipping. It's a 55 pound bar. What you can do is you can try working up from 500 again to 715, see if it feels better. You know, <laughs> five or 600 pounds, like do it again. Because you want to go up to 715 switching bar. Yeah. You got to go back from like the midway point to your top set again. Like five or 600 pounds. I would even start at like four. I wouldn't go straight to five. Yeah. That'd be like scary. It sounds like a lot of extra. It does sound yeah. like a lot of extra reps. I think. Yeah. But, that, but you definitely need like a lighter weight warmed up with the squat bar, you know, but considering how much whip this bar has because of how spark spaced out the plates are. And how heavy he's benching. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this wouldn't be a problem for anyone else, you know, this is only like a 700 pound bencher problem. Yeah. But if you want, try it out for four or 500 pounds with the squat bar. That is zero whip, 100%. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's zero. That, that bar's a demon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I mean, I mean, I think I've got the pushing power there for 715 today. I think it's there. I think, I think, it's, I think it's there too. Definitely there, and the whip does make a big difference. It throws you off your groove. So, it, it, controversial, controversial here with me. Um, obviously, I, they sent me a bar, but because I'm benching so heavy now, I'm actually using a Texas power bar instead in another gym, and it's got no whip. It's thicker, and Probably it has no way. whip, and that's the one I push 700 on, no problem. Yeah. For a lot of people that see this guy online, there is a running joke for some reason that he's told everyone I am his uncle. But we look alike. I mean, you got the same beard, more yeah. or less. Yeah, you know. <laughs> same, same <laughs> complexion. Why do you look like that? 
Same, same line, Damn. same lineup. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, just got, you just got a little bit more Kratos in the chin. I think I do that. Yeah. Speaking of Kratos, he's tattooed on my chest. <laughs> no way. Yeah. 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 Wait, when, when you were 19, you weren't any bigger than him, were you? Like, I mean, when I was 19, I, was, I, I didn't start training until 22. So. How much kg did you weigh when you were 19 years old? <sighs> what, what about you? I was, when I was 19, I was like uh, 120 kg. I was probably Whoa. about I was probably about 120. I was about the same. But it was no gym. That was just like being he a big boy, you know? He was 65 when he was 19. Just being like, like a big boy, yeah. <laughs> what did you weigh? I was, I was 55 too, but why am I not 380 now? How are you? What happened? The bulk, well, the difference is you. What you did over the last seven years was bulk, cut, cut, bulk. That's I just I did. did bulk, yeah. bulk, did. bulk, bulk. Oh, we didn't finish the bulk yet, so we might as well bulk again. And then now here I am. So. Away from all the velcros on my skin. Ouch. It's because I'm wrapping away from it. Ouch! You hear that? Don't clean that, please. Right, yeah. <laughs> 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 He's a big teddy bear. Yeah. No, bro. Bro, this bar looks so much fun. Intimidating. Oh my god, this bar looks big <laughs> and black. <laughs> come on. Oh, wow. Let's see it. Come on, baby. Alright, come on. Three, two, one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> It's also a 55 pound bar, right? Right. Yes. Well, remember, it's 55 pounds. Oh, so that's 505. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's, you are so hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you never been Such a child. I know you like it. <laughs> so we go, what, three more plates, right? Uh, four plates. Right now, instead of seven, it's just six. <laughs> <laughs> Just a minute. Can <laughs> you guys, let's Wait. compare. <laughs> yeah, measuring tape in the office, right? <laughs> yeah. I was just saying, it's like, um, Dan just said, like, get your music on, but I feel I find with myself, and sometimes with people, you can overstimulate when it comes to, like, attempting a PR. Um, for example, when I attempted 705, I was super hyped, everyone was, you know, I mean, I don't mind that people shouting around me, that, that, that helps, but I was, like, getting gassed at myself, and I had a song on that really got me, like, in an emotional way and I was ready to go and then I lay down and fouled it and I gave it six minutes, told nobody I was going again. I said, Mike, get there. I think you get there. Side spot me, let's go. Lay down calm and smoked 700 like that with none of that there, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, sometimes you can overstimulate before you attempt, I think, and just get yourself. You start to focus so hard that you overdo it and you miss groove or you, you overthink things, you forget. Whereas when you just say calm and go, you tend to, I think, have a better success rate. So. I'm just, I'm good, whatever. If I, I, if I get it, I get it, which I'm confident I will. Let's go. Oh yeah, all we need is confidence. Into the net. This is where I popped my hamstring. I was squatting 705. Yeah, right. <laughs> now he's gonna bench more than that. Yeah. Our cool is that. <sighs> Love it. Focus. You know, what's the worst thing having? First. <laughs> I don't like when you say this. Yeah. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> then I start thinking about the worst thing that could happen. Let's turn the noise up, come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Show me some power. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Ah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is it. This is fucking mine, man. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Make it look easy. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. This groove. Wow. It's all good. Oh well. The speed off the chest is there. Oh yeah. Woo! Can I just say that feels so heavy. Oh my god. Yeah, it's because you jumped from 495 to 715. <laughs> that is so heavy. Oh my god. I didn't see any whip, so. <laughs> no, no whip. Not that wrong. No whip. <laughs> that was just <laughs> wow. That was heavy, bro. <sighs> Makes me wish I had a 700. <laughs> I should have just a 700. I mean, happy with that. Oh well. Go for it. You're pushing limits. You yeah, I'd rather challenge myself, bro. That was a very fair uh, jump. Like you did 705 and you went to 752. Very yeah. fair, sensible jump. Yeah. Considering what you've done in the past, very sensible. Okay. <laughs> Let's just do one arm. <laughs> So for the video, just reverse it so he comes down and you reverse it and he goes back mm. up. Oh, we've seen that before. <laughs> we've seen that before. Yeah. I mean, I won't say no names, but there was a, there was a lifter on TikTok. Um, I suppose this is just a, a message out there to guys that think they can fake it. Um, there was a dude on TikTok that, that I, was, I came across and I was getting tagged in his stuff a lot. Um, 
I'm not going to give him I won't name him because he went from what 500 to 635 in a month he, he, he was he was jumping crazy weight and not only was he jumping crazy weight but the RP was staying the same yeah every time um, and he was going from you know I mean what you know 635 for a double and stuff like that and this dude's unheard of no one knows him I'm thinking damn this guy's strong and I started to just watch back slowly start to watch back some of his stuff because I thought something's not right man and I thought, hmm, why does that rack do that and that in the same clip? And I thought, this dude's reversing his video. <laughs> so he's unracking, coming down, then playing the same video in reverse from the down point <laughs> and making it look like a full rep. It was, it was crazy, I'll show you it. It's crazy. So I caught him on everything, called him out, and since then he's posted 405 for four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So what's his name? Call him out. No, we don't need to give him credit. <laughs> he's already disappeared off social media. Yeah, he's already disappeared. I mean, I feel bad. He's a strong dude. He hit like I think. I mean, no, yeah, it's like five forty. He was a strong dude. PR. He had a good PR. He was a strong dude, but he just obviously wanted to fake it to make it. But yeah. the problem is, you, at some point, you have to put yourself on the line to show that. You know, yes. you can't go around doing six eight five to to a comp and do five hundred. Yeah. You know, so yeah. Didn't that happen with you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, they did. That was pretty unfair judging there, so. Yeah, so, I was messing with you. Yeah, but I did. Then you know what? I give myself credit on that because I had I had five days prep. Yeah, it was your first. I'd never powerlifted in my life, so I'd never pause benched. Yeah. I'd never pause like I'd never bench raw that much in yeah. my life. I'd never worn sleeves. I'd never done any of that. That was when you were hit. I had five days notice. Started pausing. Started trying to learn the rules and started using sleeves. And then turned up. And I opened with the biggest weight push on the day. Yeah, your, your PR so, was what six thirty five back then too, right? No, you, my PR back then was six fifteen. No, so it was, it was six sixty one. Was it six sixty one? Yeah, okay. six sixty one comfortably. But and you opened and I, like so. Five, I opened on five, maybe five twenty five. Something like, I think it was right. 25, and then pushed up to 550. Uh, when I did 550, I, I, the, the press was perfect. Yeah, it was right. super clean, it was easy press. But they uh, did me on double dipping, so a slight dip. Mm -hmm. um, but I, you know, I had five days trying to get it down, I just couldn't get that like, ability to like, lock and dip and then hit. I was kind of coming down, hitting, and then when they were saying press, I was going. Mm -hmm. So, you know, lesson learned. But, I mean, being realistic, if, if I took, I think if I took four to six weeks now, and just practice. I mean, I've, doing a, I've been doing a lot more pausing, you know, in terms yeah. of my training. That, and that is how I'm getting stronger anyway, is, is keeping pausing in, in my routine and, and sleeve work and, you know, not just not just wrap work. Wrap is obviously an overload tool. So the sleeves I've been using a lot and I've been getting a lot stronger. But I think four, six weeks of just, you know, rules and, you know, keeping it calm and trying to stick to that rule set, I could easily go take a comp now, no problem. Do you know like what I mean? 300 kilo, easy. I mean, I've done, I've done, so I've done 300 kilo in sleeves with a pause back in the UK about four weeks ago. Um, and it was a pretty good rep, yeah? Yeah, pretty good rep. I mean, I'd say it wasn't perfectly comp legal, um, just because there, there was a bit of a, you know what I mean? Like it was a pause, but it was a slight dip. Um, so it wouldn't pass in a comp, but I know I've got the pressing power You're there, so definitely. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I just pause, you know, 300 kilos. It's not good enough for me, but you know, it's still whatever. Uh, you know, I know I've got a long way to go, you know, so. But I, every session I learn, so. That was rough. That, I mean, the one thing I have learned today is how heavy 715 is. <laughs> that, that was, when, when I took that off, but usually I've never had that before where I felt that. When I came over, I thought, holy shit, my arms are gonna snap. That, and I've never thought that before. That's what it felt like. It really did feel like that. Maybe, I don't know if it was a difference going to a fatter grip or anything like that. I mean, I felt okay, actually. You know what I think it was? You uh, just, you, you jumped up too fast. I think that's you what think? it was. I, that's what I was yeah. worried about. Because you have, to, you have to let your nervous system adapt. Yeah. To the weight. That's so why. You, are you my, saying I should go again? Yeah. No, I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you I mean, blew your load already, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. I'm, so, look, I'm happy with 675. No, it's good you guys just not angle the fuck out. Nah, yeah. I'm a little guy. Yeah, do it, man. Come on. I'm a little guy here. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm the little guy here. <laughs> You're the youngest, not the, little, not the smallest. So we just wrapped up an absolutely killer bench day. I mean, 715 attempt, and then we had 570 done by potentially the world's strongest bench press as a teenager. And then Daniel making a full recovery, 585 for two. I mean, what a day, no injuries. The curse of wire wheels has been expelled. We've got extras to come and light some incense and everything. So it's officially curse free. We're not bringing that to the new gym either. So on that note, everyone's link will be down below. There's. Word on the street that these three fellas here may be moving. <sighs>
to one gin gym in here in Claremont <laughs> training on a regular. I mean, think about the damage we could do to our pecs if we were to train together regularly. Goosebumps, think about it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you see him? Oh, they're yeah. poking <laughs> You usually have to pay an OnlyFans subscription. Yeah, right. <laughs> <Not this set. laughs> you just gotta subscribe. Well, if you move here to Cal where am I gonna need to OnlyFans to survive? Because it's expensive out here. <laughs> anyways, we'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Please check out the One Gen Gym Instagram page for the new massive gym coming very soon here to Claremont. Right now, our partnering up is gonna be an absolute epic project. Powerlifting, bodybuilding, over 100 machines, monolith, all the good stuff. Link down below for more information, and we'll see you guys. Very soon on the next one.